All right, so we're gonna talk about the meat a little bit because we haven't got to this cut yet, so it's a new cut for us. But the cut that we're going for today on that top sirloin is the baseball cut. A lot less fat than a ribeye, less muscle usage than the tenderloin, but still gonna be delicious. You can see that there's still some internal fat in there. It's gonna be nice and juicy, and this is still a perfect cut for a nice dinner at home steak meal. New cut of meat means new methods. So we're gonna try cooking this a different way, the reverse sear way. So we're gonna use this in your oven and then we're gonna throw it on the stove after, screeching hot and butter base it. We're gonna get this cut and we're just gonna put a little bit of olive oil over top just to be able to stick our seasonings to it. So we got a little olive oil on this big baseball cut and we're just gonna use a standard kind of steak spice. We wanna kind of make this like a steakhouse and we're just gonna kind of drizzle this all over and get it all over the meat. I got a baking sheet lined with aluminum foil. We're just gonna throw this guy down here. If you have an oven rack, you can do it on that too. And we're just gonna leave that guy right in the middle. We're gonna get our oven, 275. We're gonna heat that guy up and we're gonna throw this guy in there for about 45 minutes to an hour until it hits our perfect temperature of 125 to 130. And then we're gonna take it out. So we got this steak out. It's been in there for about 45, 50 minutes at 275. 124, that's perfect for me. Don't worry about what it looks like because we're gonna throw this in a cast iron pan and we're gonna load it up with delicious butter and it's gonna look even better. All right, getting to the next step. We're gonna put this baby in a cast iron pan, screeching hot, seared up, butter basic finish. We're gonna throw a bunch of vegetable oil in the bottom and we're gonna throw that guy in the middle for a nice, perfect sear on there. Oh yeah, that's the sound that we're looking for. And we're gonna sear that on there for a couple minutes. All right, let's check this guy out in a couple minutes. Oh yeah, that's the sear we're looking for. So we're just gonna kind of flip it over, hold it up there, get a sear like that on the other side. And what we're doing with that sear is we wanna get a nice crispy crust. It's gonna lock in the rest of that juice, all that flavor in that beef, but it's gonna give you some texture. So when you put it in your mouth, it's gonna be like, you just got it off the barbecue. We've seared all the sides. Oh man, that looks perfect. So what we're gonna do, I got a lot of butter right here. I got some rosemary, I got some fresh thyme. I got some fresh garlic. As that butter melts and foams up, over the top. I'm just gonna keep basting it over the top. And this is just gonna add that extra little oomph to your dinner at home, that date night for Valentine's Day. All right, so this guy's ready to go. Been butter basting it for a couple minutes. So we're gonna let that guy rest. I'm gonna show you how to plate up this awesome romantic dinner for two. We got crispy potato pancake that I made. We got some oven roasted asparagus, a little lemon juice over top. Now we're gonna take our amazing baseball steak. It's gonna slice this guy a little bit. Oh yeah, that looks fantastic. And then we got more texture, crispy onions. We're just gonna put that guy over top. And then just to add a little bit more high class to that romantic dinner, we are gonna do a homemade bernet sauce. And there we go, a fantastic baseball cut, top sirloin meal, crispy potatoes, a little bit of homemade bernays, but that top sirloin cut is the bomb. Happy Valentine's Day, you love birds, enjoy your meal.